Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode three of Gilbert and Adeline. Adeline and Gilbert. Whichever way you want to say it, it can be said both ways. Yes, Adeline is sleepy and stinky. She was up, they were both up very, very late last night. But as they are a young couple, I think they can manage, you know? I think they can bounce back from things pretty well now. They both do have to work, and they are working at the same time they did before. I'm really going to try to push it for Adeline as um, late mm. as uh, she can go. Although I do want to get her to at least take a shower before work. Because, like, if you work at a hospital, you don't want to show up all stinky. I mean, I just can't think of any... I can't... Well, I can think of things that are worse. Like showing up to a hospital drunk. You know, that's worse than showing up stinky. But showing up stinky is pretty bad so we're going to try to avoid that um that possibility you know it's kind of interesting thinking of these two um when you think about them both of them have so many interests and things they want to do that it's actually quite overwhelming i mean adeline has her um has her job she's trying to work her way up to becoming a uh, doctor She's also interested in playing music. She's also interested in working out. And she's also interested in cars. And when it comes to Gilbert, not only does he have to work out to increase his job, um, he also wants to learn how to paint. He wants to learn how to write. You know, a lot of things. A lot of things. And also he likes cars too. And also, in addition to all that, the two of them are really into each other, and they want to spend time together. So there's a lot of interests that the two of them have, and not that much time to do them. So we're going to have to try to do our, do our best here. Okay. All right, here's what we're going to do. Adeline, you're going to sleep up, right up until, like, quarter till. Then you're going to very quickly jump in the... Ooh, Okay, scratch that. You're going to wake up now. And then you're going to take a shower. I was going to try to maximize the amount of time that Adeline can sleep. Oh, wow, look at that. Just this, this skid of green, noxious smoke follows Adeline as she walks. Yes, and we get to hear some very famous Adeline shower singing. It's... I would say it's a beautiful thing, but it's kind of a... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's uh, beautiful in its own derpy way. Do people say derpy anymore? Derpy was so five years ago. Oh, right in time. Whoa. For me, I thought she was walking out um, naked to the car, but nope. I could have her um, look at all the things that she could do. Um... Hmm, let's see about that. You know what? Let's be ambitious. Everything is good with you. You're a little tired, but everything else is good. Let's... Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think we're A-OK -okay to sticking with what we're doing. I think she's doing well enough, but that's going to be OK. All right. You need to do some things. You need to, well, you have worked out, so you got that going for you. Um, okay, yeah, you can wake up now. How about you serve some waffles? I say serve because we want to have some in the fridge for Adeline for later. Hey! Awesome. She's grown closer to her boss. And what is her boss's name again? I forget. Alice Bruno. Yeah, they got somewhat of a friendly relationship going on. I think it's um pretty uh, pretty important to maintain that. All right, so we're just gonna speed through this. Hopefully, Adeline will eat at um at work. That would be nice. How good is your cooking skills? Uh, yeah, at some points. It's not terrible. 
I mean, hopefully you won't mess up the pancakes. Oh, he messed up the pancakes. Although burnt pancakes are still edible. I've one thing I've noticed is that um, is that uh, burning things in this game doesn't really seem to affect people that much, um, as much as you would think. So clean up and oops, no, um, put away leftovers because they're still somehow good. And then once you do that. I want you. What's the book? What book is it? Read athletic book. When to, oh, there we go. That's the book you want to read. You have until two. So I think you have time enough. These books are generally not that long. So I see no reason not to speed it up. Yes, I mentioned this before, but it bears repeating. Ooh, a little raise for Adeline. Not very much, but it's something, right? Hmm. Yeah, back back over on um, the main show. Her dad is making something like six hundred and fifty dollars per hour. Adeline's making twenty-five, but I think she understands that she's at the very beginning and she has to, um, you know, work her way up. So. I don't know if she's going to be too upset over lack of progress, although if she doesn't get promoted today, we're going to try one of the things on this menu, because she wants to get ahead. Oh, good job. Good job. You have just enough time to clean up that plate before lunch, and possible I'll see, also take a pee. All right. Oh, no. Well, you'll figure it out later. Because you have to go to work. Alright. But, whee! Let's jump on over to Adeline. Because I don't want her to go directly home. Wow, she is really tired. Alright. What do you think, guys? Will she get promoted? Will she not? Place your bets now. <laughs> no, she didn't. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, she didn't. No, she did. Whoa, okay. That was confusing. But, yeah, she got a very small bonus or raise and um, bedpan cleaner. That's great. Hmm. Okay, well, there we go. Good job, Adeline. You know what, Adeline? There's a lot of people in the park. So why don't you go here? It's short. Why don't you jog here? It won't make you that tired. Good job. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Adeline. And now that you're in the park, I want you to play for tips. I shouldn't put it that way. Adeline wants to play for tips. She's very ambitious, remember? She doesn't like just going home and relaxing. She knows she can make a little bit more money and also get her fun up if she uh, plays some guitar. Even if it is on top of the um, whatever these insects are. Doesn't look like the fish are biting today. But you gotta keep at it. Let's see. Maybe they will come over. All the people are bringing their toddlers to the park. Hey, is he coming over? Ah, he's enjoying it. Very peaceful song. All right, um, Gilbert, you are done when? At nine. Okay, Adeline, you'll go until like six or seven or something like that. I don't know what's going on over there. Some, uh, some crazy stuff. Oh look, is he gonna give her a donation? Yep. How much? 41. Wow, more than an hour of working at her pay. Hmm. Nobody else yet, but that might change. Too bad you can't click on people and say, um, 
and just have them uh, have them come over. What are you cheering about? There's nothing interesting going on over there. There's a lot of toddlers. I've noticed that. Wow, your hair is like extremely pink. Oh look, a crowd's starting to form. This girl has something that looks like what Adeline used to have, although it's, um, she's heavier, needless to say. Oh look, is he gonna give another contribution? Hey, good job, Adeline. Now there's all these people, hopefully they're not gonna be freeloaders forever. The song is too nice. I don't want to. I don't want to speed it up. Hey. I'm pretty sure those hearts don't necessarily mean. Don't necessarily mean uh, romance. I think they just mean like positive, good vibes or whatever. Because otherwise, we'd have to be. We'd have to worry. Look how many people Adeline knows already. Just by. Wow. This is, we have some ridiculous people in this town. But hey, why not? She's getting really into it, too. We have some dancing going on. We have a unattended toddler. I mean, this is... This party is off the... Off the hook, man. Yeah, I kind of don't want Adeline to stop. Let's throw that down there. Alright. I think we're gonna stick with our plan until uh, until seven. I think that's probably the the best possible idea. Mm. Because Adeline's too too tired to really do her um, working out today, so I think that's something that's just gonna have to wait for a, a future day. Oh look, we found we found friendship forming. Well, at least the toddler is not unattended. The toddler is being fed. So, yeah, my plan is to, you know, work our way through everything that they want and need to do. Alright. I think things are just about wrapped up here, so... I think it's probably time for you to finish up, Adeline. It's getting kind of noisy anyway. Alright. It's pretty reasonable. Alright. I know, Adeline, it's noisy here. Okay, you can go home now. Don't worry about jogging or anything. Just take... Just, just drive the car. Yep, your husband's junky old car. Don't worry. I promise, Adeline, we'll get you a nice car. As soon as we can. Or as soon as you can, I should say. You and your husband. Well. And now she's home. And you know what? Adeline is a very nice wife. You know what she's going to do with the money that she earned today? She is going to surprise her, um, her husband by buying him an easel for his painting. Isn't that nice? All right, now take a nap, Adeline. Because I'm pretty sure that he's going to be not ready to go to bed when he, you come home and, uh, let's see. Let's let things go. Hey! Good job. He's gotten promoted. He still works at the same time. And he works when? What days of the week? Same as before. Alright. So Adeline, up from your nap. You that's just so revolting that I just want you to to just wear your everyday stuffs. Alright, well now that he's home. Come over and give him a smoochy smooch. No. Ah. 
It's like, look what I got you. I got you an art easel. Mm. Oh, thank you. Mm. So, you know what? I give her a really, a really nice hug. Oh. And he's going to be nice. How about... Ooh, announce your promotion. And you know what? Announce your promotion. That a boy. I like that. I got promoted too. Oh my god. I like that shoulder pad. I like that. Yay. Good job. All right, why don't you come over here and have some hot dogs before they go bad? You unclog the stam thing before we, uh, you know, use it again and flood the house. And then, when that, once that's all done, uh, you also eat hot dogs. Now, uh, my mouse is sticking a little bit. He needs to get more... Um, he needs to get more athletic points, whereas she, she's actually fine, but her logic is about to need to improve. I think that was a correct sentence. Oh, come on, Adeline. No choking on the hot dogs. That's just not allowed. Whoa, looks like he dropped it for a second. Oh, she finished. Well, you can stay there and talk to him while he eats. No, don't sleep yet. <sighs> the time will come soon. Adeline's had quite a good day today. I really do think. Despite the, um... Despite the tiredness, I think she powered through. So why don't you come... Oh, yeah. Well, once your handiness skill is high enough... That's going to be like the first thing that we uh, that we fix. So I want you to come here with your wife, and well, I think you can guess the rest. Improve athletic skill? Yes, you do. You want that more than cooking, don't you? Yeah. You want to throw a formal party? Oh yeah. When mentioning things that he that they like, I forgot to mention two things actually. He likes. He likes being outside, like things like fishing, and he also loves throwing parties. And he wants to paint, and he wants to learn to write, and he wants to work out. So there's five things that he wants to do. My goodness, you are one, you are a busy boy. All right. Uh, I still think that they're a lovely couple, don't you? Uh, yes. Back from when they were kids, I had I had a feeling about these two. Oh, don't cancel out the. Hmm. Do 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 do. Sabuni Zunador. Oh. Oop. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. How lovely. The Borg. Tickle Dorg. Tickle Dorg. That's what you tell your lover at the end. You know, you can sleep. It's all right. Usually they do that automatically, but for whatever reason they do it, didn't do it this time. There we go. It's better than in The Sims 2 they actually had to get up and then get back in the bed, but nope, just jump, jump right under. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this does bring us to the end of this third episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. And there's a lot more in store for the two of them. We've really only scratched... The, the very top of the tip top of the surface of what these two can do and what their life will be because I am expecting great things so ladies and gentlemen that brings us to the end of this episode and I'll see you guys next time